After a week of sensational revelations, police officers past and present summoned to the Commons. Andy Heyman oversaw the original investigation, much criticised for its narrow scope. And in front of MPs with more questions than time to ask them, he confirmed he'd gone for dinner with the people he was investigating and that he'd started working for The Times, a news international paper, two months after retiring from the Met. Mr Heyman, don't you understand that the public will just see you as a dodgy geezer who is in charge of a, a phone hacking inquiry conducted by the News of the World? This is a disaster, this, this, this inquiry, an absolute disaster, under your direction. It's um, under my watch, it's in my command, absolutely. Um, absolutely it was a disaster. Well, at the time, um, and I think Peter's made this point, is that everything possible that they were able to do, given the resources and the parameters that they set, was done. Criticism of News International came from several senior police officers today. Peter Clark told MPs he was surprised at the lack of cooperation from News International and that he believed they tried to obstruct the original investigation. Uh, this is a major, a global organisation with access to the best legal advice, in my view, deliberately trying to thwart a criminal investigation. And arising directly out a sentiment reinforced by no, Met Assistant Commissioner John Yates today. He decided not to reopen the phone uh, hacking inquiry I two years ago and added his criticism an of News International. I also reiterate that it's a matter of great concern that for whatever reason the news of the world appears to have failed to cooperate in the way that we now know they should have with relevant police inquiries up until January of this year. They have only recently supplied information and evidence that would clearly have had a significant impact on the decisions that I took in 2009 had it been provided to us then. The committee chairman said he was generally unconvinced by Mr Yates's evidence today. Police are now in the middle of a massive inquiry involving celebrities who had their voicemail accessed and now new claims the murdered teenager Millie Dowler was a potential victim along with the Soham schoolgirls Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman. Police are also looking at the hacking of emails belonging to dead service personnel. The woman heading the current inquiry revealed the extent of the task facing investigators. I think there's something like 3,870 names and four first and second names in the database. There are um, another 5,000 landline telephone numbers about and another 4,000 mobile phone numbers. Questions about the police's response to this affair will continue for months, even years. Isabel Webster, BBC News.